Hello, Anne-Marie. Hello, I like your shirt. Do you know, it, I bought it off Instagram, they're pyjamas actually. And Is I bought it, um, Was it one of those ads? Yes. And they get me as well. Every time. And because I'm having a baby, I bought it in an XL and then it arrived and it's a Chinese XL. It was like this big. So I can't wear the bottoms because it's they'll fit yeah. over a foot. Yeah. Yeah, great. I'm glad you get sucked in as well. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, I once bought furry pink bed fro and and uh, pillows never came. <gasps> I know. I was so sad about it. And it's not worth your time to like follow it up. Shakes because then it's three hours down the drain and you're a busy lady. They get those fuckers got you. Damn them. Yeah, <sighs> well, at least you're able to be at home doing promo. Yeah, of all the things that we can be thankful for. I know that, you know, like I know you do a lot because when I do my research, I see like 30 interviews and you're in the same outfit. And I'm like, I'm exhausted <laughs> just thinking about that day. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard talking about yourself all the time. So I've got to get got used to that. Still not used to that. It's weird, but at least a lot of this you've had Niall with you and that would be something yeah. really different for you to have someone with a bit of bands, you know? Definitely much more fun, yeah. Yeah, and the two of you are rascals. I imagine there's not a lot of, like, serious work. I mean, I know you managed to write multiple songs in your session, but you're both rascals you how do they keep you in line whose idea was that no they they can't and I it's funny because I had no idea if we were even going to get on like we we knew each other from before but never like hung out properly for a long time so I I honestly we had no idea if we were even going to get on as people let alone write a song so it's just so lucky that as soon as I walked in, he was just brilliant and he just made me feel great. And when we wrote the song, it was serious, like a very serious song. But every other thing that we've done together, the music video, all the promo, he's just so funny. So yeah, apart from the song, nothing else has been serious. <laughs> well, you, you've made, you both make a very special list in my life. When people ask me like, who are the people that are far cool to interview? And for me, it's the people that don't take themselves seriously because some artists do take themselves seriously and that's their prerogative and they can do that. But it's like you, Niall, Ed Sheeran, you're like at the elite level of fame, but you also know that it's all bullshit. Like none of it's <laughs> actually like, you know. Yeah. And I yeah. think it's healthy. Yeah, you know what? They, you, If you met Tom Jones as well, you'd feel exactly the same. Tom Jones, Niall Horan, Ed Sheeran, David Getter, four people that are extremely famous, yet remind me that you don't have to be a certain way to be famous. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to put on this front or, you know, act stush or anything. It's just like being yourself is good enough. That's what I think. And you don't have to be that way, you know? And they all stay out of tabloid magazines. Like they're very yeah. famous, but they, you know, like people, a lot of people, famous people say, I can't escape it. But it's like, well, no, you can't. Like a lot of people do. <laughs> they're great examples of people that kind of like live their lives. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Look at you exactly. and me. We're just so smart. We just know what's up, you know. We're just. Got no. to... um, is there an actual song? Because there are a couple of songs, I guess, in my life that when I hear it on the radio I'm reminded of someone for good or worse like some songs are like huh. like my ex-boyfriend ruined Laura Marling for me because he had this old car and one CD in it and I love Laura Marling and he ruined it do you have the same for better for good or for bad well this the this particular song that I wrote our song about is I'm yours by Jason Mraz I know. And that was played a lot mm -hmm. during that time. That That's an odd story as well, because it wasn't even mine and my ex's song. It's It was his 
and his ex's song before we got together. So I knew that it was their song together. So whenever it was played, I was like, you're thinking about her, I can't. Because I had issues back then, but <laughs> I'm okay now. But um, yeah, that was my problem with it. And it, it triggered me every time. But other than that, good good memories. I, Me and my best friend have two songs that we always play out when we're like hard done by. <laughs> Sorry. I see. Thank you. When um, she's had some trouble with her, her ex. So we love screaming out Be Careful by Cardi B. And um, and Tyrone by Erica Badu. Oh, that's yeah, oh, I love that. That's yeah, good. Well done. Great choices, Anne Marie. Great choices. Um, <laughs> your album is coming. I love that the number one was "Speak Your Mind" and now "Therapy." There's kind of mm-hmm. a bit of a a connection, you know. Talk yeah. to me about the word therapy and where we're going with this. So. When I, well, first of all, music is, I think, like therapy to all of us. That's like a, an obvious thing for us, um, especially for me in my teens. That was like, I needed music so much and it helped me. So I understand that that's, that's good for that. But then also um, during lockdown, I hit like a really shit place and I was like feeling like crap. And I spoke to my manager and I was like, I I just feel numb. I don't even feel sad or happy. And she was like, I think you need to speak to someone. Um, and I tried speaking to someone before actually, and I didn't really connect with them. And it yeah. was all a bit weird. And she was like, just try it again and see if this could be your person. And thankfully it was. And I found this therapist and she honestly has like, helped me so much and changed my brain around and fiddled it all around and fixed it and yeah she's been incredible so during the whole of well halfway through 2020 to now I'm seeing my therapist once a week and it just feels like well one it makes sense because what I'm going through and it's like I can look back on this album and think that was that time you know and two, in a therapy session, you feel basically every emotion possible. And that allowed me to put songs on the album that related to all of those emotions. And it just, it was the umbrella to, to all of the songs that I've put on there. I know, so it makes sense to me. Uh-huh. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Obviously there's, it's not all songs about like yeah. that, but there's um it just fits everything that's on there so I'm really excited Love that. I had my therapy but just before you on zoom because we're back in a kind of quasi yeah with Julie who I've been seeing for seven years and has changed wow her. she she could she could write my autobiography from memory wow. and then through it everyone should be in therapy it's the best it's Oh, it's the best. That's what I've been trying to say. Like, why you don't? I, I, I hate that people go to therapy when there's a problem. Like, just don't let there be a problem in the first yeah. place and go speak to, chat shit to someone. Yes, and like, for listening in Australia, I, I, we get 20, 20 sessions a year subsidized by the government. So you twenty, no. the government will pay, which I think is it's everyone should be doing it, man. Come to Australia, have free therapy, it's right? <laughs> I never knew that. That's so cool. Yeah, it's important. It's and so, so cool. cool. And you've been doing it for seven years. It's so oh. amazing to hear that because a lot of people probably think, oh, see a therapist for a couple of sessions and everything's great. But it's not. It's an ongoing thing. Like Absolutely. your life is changing and you're dealing with stuff every day. So, yeah. Oh, we expect to know. We don't know. We can't do it all. We're already fabulous, talented, gorgeous, 10 out of 10s. We can't also know how to keep our mental health in check, Anne-Marie. I mean, <laughs> that's what expect of us. <laughs> Very true. Matey, thank you so much for making time to chat and being so honest. We can't wait for therapy. We love you and the song. And Niall, obviously, is a favourite of our show, so it makes perfect sense that you would make a great song together. And thank you for making time, darling. Of course. 
I'll hopefully see you very soon again. Fingers crossed. And I'll give Julie, my psychologist, all your love next time I chat. <laughs> yes, please. She's the best. I love, I love her. See you, matey.